Welcome to the World Tarot. This is a channeled message for the 18th of March 2021. This message is for the feminine energies. Your higher self is letting you know your divine masculine was always with you. Because he is inside you and because he is you. This is not a separate person or entity. If you are in fact a Divine Feminine, you are already starting to understand this. We all have Divine Masculine and Divine me Feminine energies. And we don't, when we don't embody these energies, we embody distorted Masculine and distorted Feminine energies. We are all the dreaded karmic. There is not a split between the two energies. They are not two polarities. The feminine and masculine shift from one to another. They fluctuate, they are fluid. We, need, we don't need an external energy to complete us. We are already complete. Now, as a collective, we tend to focus too much on the other when we should look more at the self. Look at the Aries, Libra, Mars, Venus polarities. Aries is the self, it's the start signal, the root of everything. Start with yourself if you want to eventually evolve into Libra, the worldly, the humanitarian. Charity starts at home. Now, once we repair the damaged self, we can inspire others to follow suit. And that is the most humanitarian work we can ever do. We can only lead by example. We can't control others. We can't dictate to them because they are living a separate re reality from us. Even if they are living this reality alongside us. By the change you want, we have to be the change we want to see in the world. I know how cliche that sounds, but I keep hearing this message. You know, when we hear the same thing repeated too many times, it star starts to sound strange to us. And that's when it gains new levels of meaning in our minds. We see the information we already thought we knew in a new light, and that's how we can learn, relearn it in a new way. We can retrain our brain if we don't like what's been installed in it. What people don't understand about this message that we need to be the change we want to see in the world is that we don't need to be throwing our energy around trying to save the whole world. We don't need to, to do grand gestures and help many people. That's just acting, it's putting on a show, it's looking for praise and for external validation. What we need to do is the low-key, down and dirty work of looking at our own shadows. What we don't see is happening inside our own souls and minds. We are starting to be more and more in denial of anything negative in ourselves and we are shutting out the world if it shows us anything but positivity. But how can we heal an infected festering wound if we just ignore it and hope for the best while we let the pus spread and infect more and more of our bodies? If we are to use tarot cards, we should use them for shadow work, to read our own minds and to see what hurt and pain and trauma we can't face otherwise. We can use them as a mirror to our own souls. The kinds of tarot readings which are the most popular are all about what other people are doing what they are saying, thinking, feeling, and plotting against us. If others are so important to us, then we need to know everything, you know, like, if we need to know everything about them, even what they don't want to tell a single soul, 
Why don't we show ourselves the same level of interest, at least the same level of interest? Everyone in the Twin Flame community calling themselves chasers, what are they chasing? Their own tails. Feminine energies are projecting their own wounded masculine energy onto others and trying to heal them, to fix them. As in, in order to fix, because they see them as a proxy for themselves. Instead of healing themselves, they try to heal others. This is why the so-called divine masculines are always runners. They are not, in fact, divine when they do this. They are distorted masculines running from themselves because we are acting as distorted masculine energies towards them. The energy embodied by feminine energies when we are when they are chasing is not divine feminine. It is distorted masculine. I felt like I had to emphasize that. Now, we have to become accustomed to saying the divine feminine chases and divine masculine runs. We actually diagnose these com connections as twin flame connections according to this dynamic. I'm the chaser, they are the runner, so we must be twin flames. Anyone who was ever rejected can say they are a twin flame connection in order to self-soothe because they can't take the rejection. But isn't it better to accept defeat than to entangle ourselves in the illusion of a love which doesn't exist and to waste precious time of our short lives preventing ourselves from healing? This is just putting a band-aid on the boo-boo and forgetting about it. Let's be clear that once we jump through this rabbit hole, our phones and YouTube algorithms are going to lead us deeper into the woods and we will hear more and more delusional messages, keeping us stuck in the fantasy by giving us countless synchronicities. By the way, psychologist Carl Jung came up with the idea of synchronicities. Look him up. He also talks about shadow work and bringing the unconscious into the light of consciousness. Most of us claiming to be twin flames are either in distorted masculine energy when we are chasing, and that is most of the time, and we are in distorted feminine energies when all the chasing proves to be in vain and we are licking our wounds, feeling defeated, weak, in need of a hero to save us. So where is all our divinity gone then? Our own divine feminine energy should come to the rescue of our distorted feminine. We must mother ourselves. Then our divine masculine energy can jump into play to help us plan a way out of our own prov proverbial gutter, basically. We are all God having a human experience on earth through billions of human bodies. And each human being is a mini-god, a mini-universe in themselves. The fool, the two of cups, look at that. We are whole, we are not a half, but we are one, we are all one, we are God. Knowing this, we cannot help but respect the divinity within ourselves and within others. We cannot place anyone above or beneath us and we do not have to merge with each other because we don't have any missing parts. Now from my higher self to yours, don't fear being alone. It doesn't mean, stuck in your head, it doesn't mean you are lonely or forsaken. Now all this monologue was uh, an automatic writing message that I got channeling my own higher self. We should all try this at home. This is what shadow work is all about. Ask your own Holy Trinity for guidance. And when I speak of Holy Trinity, I mean our higher self, which is our one true God, our heaven. The second part of this Trinity is the unconscious mind, what is hidden in the basement of our minds, our own little personal hell, but let's not forget what is hidden is not always bad. We just don't understand or accept it. So we need to get to know it first. 
The third part of this trinity is our intuition. That's our Holy Spirit bringing messages from our higher and lower selves. I will try to bring more messages each day on this channel, but I also encourage anyone watching this to empower themselves by doing the same. Be a creator, not a consumer. Now, may the power of the written word be with you. I'm going to try to do a quick reading now and see a few messages, maybe just a little story. Let's get a little story here. Okay, let's see how can we interpret these messages. Nine, nine, look at that, look at that. God is talking to us and through us. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> they are all here with us. Wow, I saw 11-11, that's so weird. <laughs> Seriously, uh, it's on my, my timer, on the, the timer of the, the video. So probably yeah, you will ha have seen, you can check <laughs> that it was indeed 11-11. <laughs> wow, <laughs> right, so. Nines are about, I was talking about feeling alone, that we, we shouldn't fear being alone. This is a fear of being alone, being alone with your own thoughts, being by yourself, fighting your own demons. We are afraid to do the shadow work. We're afraid to, do, to fight these demons, to find out what's hiding in our subconscious, in our unconscious. But God is watching over us when we do this. We are protected. We, all of us, have trauma. Everyone living on this planet has been through some trauma in their life. This is mental anguish. This is emotional and physical damage that we've inquired because all, all our emotions are affecting us physically too. If we don't understand our emotions, if we don't clear them out, so to speak, declutter our own emotions, if we don't understand them, where they're coming from, what they are useful for, how we can use them in a better way, maybe than we are right now, then we, get, we start to, to feel physically ill, actually. And we tend to run away. We are moving from one place to another, hoping we'll find something better, from one person to another, hoping that we're gonna find a better relationship. But it's never the right place, it's never the right time, 1414. It's never the right person. It's like we can't find our place. But in order to become like our one true God, like our higher self wants us to be, we need to go through these. We need to reach the ten and then to drop them. Ten of swords, ten of wands and then drop everything and to go to the full. Go to zero. Start again. Uninstall all old programs and install new ones. Let's see. How can we improve our creativity? How, come, how can we become more creative? Because once you become a creator, then you can do anything. You can fix yourself, you can fix your heart. All you have to do is try and not expect anyone else to come and do it for you. How can we become more creative? That's also a great way to release energies, to, to release emotions, trapped emotions. So how can we become more creative? How can we become more creative? 
ask your higher self i always tell you ask your higher self ask your holy trinity like i said earlier the midas touch right everything you touch turns to gold because you are god that's why i said that that's god right but god is within us it's our higher self So how can we become more creative? Let's see. How can we become more creative? Seven of Wands. By getting a bird's eye view of our situation. Trying to rise above. Don't let others' energies us down try to get uh, we are being isolated right now we are all isolated we all feel abandoned we all feel like the world has gone mad and there's no one there for us but at the same time we don't need to battle anymore we don't need to battle other people we can only battle battle our own demons we are stuck in our head with ourselves because you saw that the Eight of Swords was popping out earlier. So, there's only way, one way out. The only way out is through. I keep hearing that. The only way out is through. So we can be more creative by protecting our energy, not let other people siphon our energy. We should not let other people come and tear us down and suck our energy dry. We have to conserve, to, to preserve our energy and to channel it into our own work, our own hobbies, our own creativity, our own abundance. So let's ask, I want a confirmation. Is it true that uh, the Divine Masculine is not a separate entity? Is the Divine Masculine already within us? Is it true that the Divine Masculine is not a separate person? Four of Pentacles, Three of Cups. Four, three. Four plus three is seven. Again, another seven we have here. Two nines, two sevens. Seven is spirituality. Oh my God. Three and four. The Empress and the Emperor. Uh, the Major Arcana number three is the Empress. Okay? Major Arcana number four is the Emperor. I don't have Major Arcanas here, but I feel like those would have popped out here if I had the cups, okay, hearts, Venus, okay, this is Venus, right, Venus energy, hearts, free, the Empress, pentacles, the earth, the Emperor is set in stone, isn't he, he's sitting on a stone throne, He's very grounded. I know um, it's Aries card, but the Emperor is someone who is very abundant in the material sense. He's like the king of the earth, the king of all kings. So that's what I see here. Yes, our feminine and masculine energies are together and they form the seven, they form the spirituality, number of spirituality. So we can only be divine feminine and divine masculine to, be, to form the seven, the, the number of spirituality, if we embody both of these energies. So there's your confirmation.
I think that's all the message I'm gonna give you for today. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good day. Take care.